Minasan konnichiwa, Yuka des. Hi everyone, this is Yuka. In today's video, we will go over new grammar patterns introduced in lesson 42 of the Minano Nihongo textbook. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the grammar points that we will discuss today. First, tameni. Second, noni. Third, quantifier plus the particle wa or mo. And last, the grammar ni yotte in passive sentences. First topic, tame ni. Tame ni is similar to the English in order to. It expresses the purpose of a particular action. So the pattern verb 1, tame ni, verb 2, means to do verb 2 in order to do verb 1. In lesson 36, we learned that when a goal or purpose is a verb, we use the grammar yoni. However, it should be noted that the verb in the yoni construction must be a non-volitional verb. Tameni, on the other hand, involves verbs that can be controlled by the subject. When tameni follows a noun, it expresses for the benefit of or for the sake of. The basic structure is verb in plain form, noun, no, plus the grammar tameni. Example. Nihon e iku tame ni o kane o tamete imas. I am saving up money in order to go to Japan. Kazoku no tame ni uchi o tatemas. I am going to build a house for my family. In Japanese, the purpose or the objective is given in the first part of the sentence. Whereas in English, it is usually given in the last part. More examples. Itsuka jibu no mise o motsu tame ni isho ken mei hataraite imas. Itsuka jibu no mise o motsu tame ni isho ken mei hataraite imas. I'm working hard to have my own store someday. Tomodachi no kekon shiki ni deru tame ni yasumi o toremashita. Tomodachi no kekon shiki ni deru tame ni yasumi o toremashita. I took a day off to attend my friend's wedding. Bengoshi ni naruta me ni horitsu o benkyo shite imas. Bengoshi ni naruta me ni horitsu o benkyo shite imas. I am studying law to become a lawyer. Narimas can be used as a volitional or non-volitional verb. Naze inaka ni hikoshi surun desu ka? Naze inaka ni hikoshi surun desu ka? Why will you move to the countryside? Shize no naka de kodomo o sodate ru tame ni hikoshi surun desu. Shize no naka de kodomo o sodate ru tame ni Hikoshi surundes. 
I will move in order to raise my children among nature. Following a noun, we need to use the particle no after the noun. Shigoto no tame ni maishu nihongo wo naratte imasu. Shigoto no tame ni maishu nihongo wo naratte imasu. I am learning Japanese every week for work. Anime no kenkyu no tame ni nihon e ryugaku shitai desu. Anime no kenkyu no tame ni nihon e ryugaku shitai desu. For studying anime, I want to study abroad in Japan. Nihongo no benkyo no tame ni denshi jishu wo kaimashita. Nihongo no benkyo no tame ni denshi jishu wo kaimashita. I bought an electronic dictionary to study Japanese. Kodomo no kyo iku no tame ni chokin shi na kereba narimasen. Kodomo no kyo iku no tame ni chokin shi na kereba narimasen. I have to save money for my children's education. Ke konsuru futari no tame ni mina de oiwai o shimasho. Ke konsuru futari no tame ni mina de oiwai o shimasho. Let's all celebrate for the couple who are getting married. Urimpiku no tame ni nihon no ongaku ka ga tsukurimashita. Urimpiku no tame ni nihon no ongaku ka ga tsukurimashita. A Japanese musician made it for the Olympics. Second topic, noni. Another pattern that is used to express a purpose is the conjunctive noni. When translated, it also means in order to. The distinction of this grammar is that it expresses the means necessary to achieve a certain purpose. And so the main clause is often limited to words such as tsukau, hitsuyo, fukaketsu, etc. While tameni can be used with a wide variety of verbs and statements. The basic structure is verb no or noun plus the grammar noni. When following a verb, the particle no acts as a nominalizer and ni functions as for. Toshoka ni hairu no ni gakusei shou ga irimasu. You will need your student ID to enter the library. The main clause often indicates a tool, material, time, or cost, which is instrumental to the event described in the first clause. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? What is this? Noshi bukuro desu. O iwai no okane o ireru no ni tsukaimasu. Noshi bukuru desu. O iwai no okane o ireru no ni tsukaimasu. It is an envelope. It is used to put in congratulatory money. This pattern is also followed by expressions such as i desu. Benri desu. 
etc. Koko wa midori ga okute, shizuka desu ne. Koko wa midori ga okute, shizuka desu ne. There is a lot of green here and it is quiet. A. Kodomo o sudate ru no ni i desu. A. Kodomo o sudate ru no ni i desu. Yes, it's good for raising children. Kono kaban karukute jobu desu ne. Kono kaban karukute jobu desu ne. This bag is light and durable, isn't it? A. Ryoko ni benri desu. A. Ryoko ni benri desu. Yes, it's convenient for traveling. Kawaii ningyo desu ne. Kawaii ningyo desu ne. It's a cute doll. E omiyage ni chodo i desu. E omiyage ni chodo i desu. Yes, it is just right for a gift. Kono koroma o shuri suru no ni dono korai kakari masu ka? Kono koroma o shuri suru no ni dono korai kakari masu ka? How long does it take to repair this car? Ni shukan kakari masu. Ni shukan kakari masu. It will take two weeks. Third topic, quantifier plus the particle wa or mo. When the particle wa or mo is attached to a numerical phrase, it adds an implication that the quantity is a minimum amount or an excessive amount. With respect to a certain standard, so yonin wa suggests that the four people is the minimum number, and that there could be more. It can also be interpreted as at least four people. Yonin mo, on the other hand, implies that the four people is beyond expectation, and can be interpreted as. As many as four people. The difference between wa and mo. Watashi wa bonasu no hanbun wa chokin suru tsumori desu. I intend to save at least half of my bonus. The speaker does not know the exact amount and gives a conservative estimate. E hanbun mo chokin surun desu ka? Really? You are going to save as much as half? It emphasizes that half is a large amount or more than the normal amount. Tokyo de seikatsu suru no ni dono kurai hitsu yo desu ka? Tokyo de seikatsu suru no ni dono kurai hitsu yo desu ka? How much is needed in order to live in Tokyo? Tsuki ni ni ju man en hitsu yo desu. Tsuki ni ni ju man en hitsu yo desu. You need two hundred thousand yen a month. Note, it is a simple statement and no emotions attached. To put emphasis on the amount, we add the particle wa or mo. 
月に20万円は必要です。月に20万円は必要です。You will need at least 200,000 yen a month. Speaker hints that it could be more than 200,000 yen. 月に20万円も必要なんですか月に20万円も必要なんですか ?You need as much as 200,000 yen a month? It emphasizes the feeling that 200,000 yen is expensive. Kodomo o s u d a t e r u no ni, ni sen man en gurai wa kakarimas. Kodomo o s u d a t e r u no ni, ni sen man en gurai wa kakarimas. It costs at least 20 million yen to raise a child. Ni sen man en mo kakarun desu ka? Ni sen man en mo kakarun desu ka? It costs as much as 20 million yen. It emphasizes the feeling that 20 million is surprisingly large amount. Kono ronbun o kaku no ni ichi nen wa kakarimashita. Kono ronbun o kaku no ni ichi nen wa kakarimashita. It took me at least a year to write this paper. 一年もかかったんですか一年もかかったんですか ?It took as long as one year.It emphasizes the feeling that one year is a long time. And last, the grammar によって Used in passive sentences. The particle ni is used to mark the agent or the doer of the action in a passive sentence. It functions as by in English. Example Ken was scolded by his teacher. The pattern ni yot. Can replace ni in some passive sentences and it sounds more formal than ni. It cannot, however, be used with verbs to scold or to praise, or verbs that have emotive meanings. Today we will focus on the use of ni yotte to mark the author, artist, creator, inventor. Etc. Verbs that will be used in the following examples express discovery or creation, such as kakimas, hatsumei shimas, and haken shimas. Chikin ramen wa senkyu ya go goju hachinen ni. アンドモモフクさんによって発明されました。チキンラーメンは1958年にアンドモモフクさんによって発明されました。チキンラーメンは i n v e n t e d by Mr. モモフクアンド in 1958. アメリカはコロンブスによって発見されました。アメリカはコロンブスによって発見されました。アメリカは discovered by Columbus.
この小説は夏目漱石さんによって書かれました。この小説は夏目漱石さんによって書かれました。This novel was written by Mr. Suzuki Natsume. この絵は合法によって書かれました。この絵は合法によって書かれました。This painting was drawn by Van Gogh. このアプリは日本語の専門家によって作られました。このアプリは日本語の専門家によって作られました。This app was created by a Japanese expert. And that concludes our lesson for today. See you in the next one.